welcome, welcome, welcome to Dead Space, the remake of which I've been looking forward to big time. How are you guys doing? Luckless Lovelocks, my, uh, my favorite human. Hello. What's up, Pumpkin? Mortagon, Hurley, good to see you. Kaz, hello, hello, hello. Hey, Pock. Big time. <laughs> uh, it's funny, I, I realized I hadn't played Dead Space on the channel, because it came out in, I think, 2008, uh, which was before I started the channel. But I did play this game back in the day, pre-YouTube pre life. And uh, the Dead Space that appeared on the channel was uh, Dead Space 3. So this is like, this is like going way back for me. I think I maybe dabbled in another playthrough at some point, but never really went anywhere. For sure, only completed it the one time when it first came out, so... Yeah, how much do I remember about this? Not a lot. Like, I'm going to remember some of the key moments, I'm sure, but I'm very excited for this because uh, I've heard only... I've heard so many good things about it, so I'm I'm ready to rock and roll. There was a time before Christopher Odd. Yeah, there, yeah, there existed a time. It was the Jurassic period. Uh, dinosaurs roamed. But, uh, you know. You know. More important things happened. Uh, so, should we just, like, get going? I have I think I've got this set up correctly. Difficulty-wise, we're going to play on hard. Enemies take less damage. We take more damage. I mean, that's fair. Content warning? No, we, we can handle it. Uh, Settings-wise, I've got pretty much everything maxed here. Uh, for DLSS, I'm running balanced. Everything else is on max. I don't know if I'm going to need to adjust this. I'm on a 4090, so hopefully not, but we'll see. And uh, what else? Audio wise, stereo, I think we're good. Like, I think this is everything I could ask for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I imagine that there's a fair number of you that have never played the original Dead Space before. Maybe even any Dead Space game. I feel like th that probably applies to a chunk. And then I also feel there's a lot of people that are in a similar boat to me where you played the original and then now, what is it, 15 years-ish later, they, they do the remake. And you're like, whoa, it's going to be a big eye-opener. Big eye-opener. Vibe has been set. Love that. How dead is the space today? Pretty dead. Pretty, pretty dead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yo, SS, that is super kind, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. want to send you hugs for all you do. You're awesome. You're awesome, too. Uh, Luckless recommended I turn up the brightness. So I'm up to, to 65 here. Um, to me, this left symbol is very visible. But I feel like on YouTube, probably not. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll sit at a 62. All right. We're probably going to have some big opening cutscene here. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll drop this to 60. And we'll see how it goes. And then I'll see you guys after the cutscene. I think it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. Five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat? Guess you really miss her. Bishamer is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only vid calls? It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlet reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Davis. So you keep saying that. 
Here we go. Nice clean re-entry. Page just seven. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. It looks like they already popped the cord. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting out for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly, responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications black on one of these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. What the hell is that? Nah, it sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it for 48 hours, max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Let's go. We're losing control. What? We're off course. Daniels! Guidance system override isn't responding. Shit, shit, we're coming in too hot. It's gonna smash us into the hall. Jen, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Got it. Drop the flash shield. Everyone brace yourself. Uh, Daniels, 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 Better than a broken neck, or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. That I always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Calm her down. We lost a poor booster. We got a fire in one of the stabilizers, and singularity core is a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Thank you, Quan. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, I, it's weird. I don't remember... Like, I kind of remember him being more of a faceless character that we didn't get to see or, or hear from. So, either I'm misremembering that or he's now a little bit more involved uh, from the narrative side. The rig. What do we got here? Got a map. Missions. Looks like how... I have worse. You go on. I'll get it strapped up. Dangler. Crap. We came down hard. Not a free Standard procedure. We'll register them in Hello? You know, when the original released, it probably felt like it looked this good. I, I haven't seen any of the side by sides, but <laughs> I I imagine things are significantly shinier now. He didn't speak in the original. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Oh yeah, we have that little meter on our back. I can't remember what that represents, but. 
I know one of them is your health, but then... Like, maybe the spine is your health? I can't remember. Hmm. At least we didn't take out the sun. I definitely didn't get to play on mouse and keyboard, I'll tell you that much. So, this is an absolute pleasure. May as well get signed in. <laughs> so pumped we're playing this. Isaac, come sink your rig. Oh, you're waiting on me? Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. Location? Error. Employee not found. Go figure. I can't read security. Same for the Chief Engineer. What is wrong with their comms? God, the suit looks so cool. I'm surprised we passed the scanning test. We didn't follow the second direction there. Chat, you guys let me know how we are for uh, brightness and all of that stuff. Where's the sound. Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. No duty roster. No power to the elevator. For God's sake. This is like every airport in existence Isaac, right get now. A damage report. I'm done playing around. Press the locator to find current objective. If it runs as well as it does in this little opening area the whole time, oh, we're in for an absolute treat. Oh God, that smell! What have you got, Isaac? Shit! It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. Could do that kind of damage to a planet crack. Up. To the sound is a bit low. You mean the game sound? Or sound as a whole? Quarantine activated. If it's sound as a whole, you just gotta turn it up. <laughs> no. The quarantine systems are all fine. Wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Uh -oh. yeah, man. Take it easy. Daniels, get those elevators. There's something in here with us. Up there! Jesus! Where am I going? It is pitch dark. Our suit's ruined! Okay, so the, the spine is health. The other meter is something else. I'm all over the deck. How do we, uh, we break these, don't we? How do we kick stuff? I don't know yet.
Yeah, we just started, Doric. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Cut off their limbs. <laughs> yes. Yes, we will. Okay. We have aim. Aim and shoot. Aim and rotate. And reload. Oh, you definitely got to go like this. One hundo. Oh, uh, there we go. Me okay, melee can deal damage to enemies or destroy certain objects. Foot stomp or punch. Oh, that's so... I love it. Indestructible. Do you think we should maybe help this guy? Holy frick! <laughs> Is there another one? There's not not another one, I'll tell you that. Oh, okay. Oh, sick! Okay, we yeah, I forgot about that. There is stuff inside of them. Little uh, loot pinatas. I just realized the sound steps I was, or the, the footsteps I was freaking out about are my own. Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. this mail security request retrieved it didn't die we shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off for god's sake send help okay so they this is like yeah 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 they really hammered home that like this is the thing you need to be doing do i have any way of getting through here currently <laughs> Yeah, my, my volume's up a little bit loud. Just a tad. Med pack's been added. Use health pack. Uh, how much does it restore? Does it tell us in here? How do I... Okay. Are you telling me I have to use the arrow keys to navigate in here? I can't use W, A, S, and D, because we're not, like, hard-paused. Oh, that's weird. What's up, Dan? How's it going, man? Just... They're everywhere. Shen, is he, uh... He's... gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw? Some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? That's good. <laughs> Am I on, uh... I'm on full screen. That's weird. Alright. 
How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Okay, we need to get the tram running. Seems good. Okay, you can scroll in here. Thanks, that's a great... Why does it, why does it keep minimizing? <laughs> why does it keep doing that? Why is, why is it like this? Let's try Borderless and see what happens. <clears throat> clicking off screen. I don't know how I'd be clicking off screen. I only have one screen. Save often. Okay, so we need the data board. Okay, I'm gonna check this way first. I feel like we're gonna end up back near that other area we couldn't access. Can I crouch? Conserve ammunition by dismembering enemy limbs. Cut off limbs to kill enemies quickly. Dismember enemies to slow them down. Love that. Love a good dismemberment. Yeah, okay, perfect. Here we are. If that thing's not dead... Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's go. Okay, so I can have one at a time. Let's do this one since I'm here. Still plans for an XCOM later this year? Yes. There's always plans for an XCOM. Always. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're dead. I know how to play video games. Sometimes. Is there an upgrade we can get where we have a uh, permanent flashlight? Where the hell? 
Oh, hi there. <laughs> ah, it's so good. I feel like I remember the animation for the stomp in the first one was very much, uh, like, really slow, and once you started it, you were, like, locked in. I remember it feeling weird. It doesn't feel weird here, which is really nice. We run into some kind of, like, vending machines, right? Shit! Whoa, where did he come from, dude? <laughs> wow. What does that say on there? Can't really tell. How do you get in here? I need to get... Whatever this is connected to going, I guess. <sighs> Sorry, rhetorical questions, chat. Rhetorical questions, you know? Rhetorical, rhetorical. How do I get in there? I'll, I'll figure it. I'll figure out how to get in there. Don't you worry. That's like, that's my job. That's my job. That's my job. That's my job. Okay, we've come full circle, literally. Let's go check that elevator. You know, like, why? Why? Why would they have this? You know this is bad news right here. And even if it's like, oh, that's like an emergency exit. Like, you shouldn't have an elevator that requires an emergency exit to be that... ...intense. Okay, here's that power... power line. Going into M3. Are we good for brightness chat, by the way? Or are we good? Can you guys see anything? Because for me, it's a, it's very appropriate. It's very good. Like, it's a darkness that I enjoy, but it's not too dark. And, like, I feel like the, the, the light actually matters, you know? The flashlight. Oh, God. Yeah. Dark but good. Yeah, sick. That's what it needs. That's that's what it needs to be. That's what it needs to be. Okay, good. Dark in a good way. Nice, nice. Oh, and chat, uh, one thing I would like your help with is if I miss a stomp, like call me out on it. I need to everything needs to be stomped. This dude is one of the Yeah, call me out on the stomps. I think that's fair. I wonder if we're going to have ammo problems. I'm a little bit, like, willy-nilly here. Text logs. Okay. USG Ishimura Aerospace Engineering Department. Shuttle repairs invoice. Mission day two. Faulty four gyro. Vessel USG-ish 503. 
Replace, now functional. Mission day three, faulty 40 scope, vessel, USG-ish 501, still in repair. Mission day four, damaged landing repulsors, vessel, USG-ish 505, complete replacement, now functional. Damaged four and left four viewports, vessel, USG-ish 504, replaced, now functional. Mission day five, damaged booster collar, vessel, USG-ish 505, repaired, now functional. Engineer's note, Jay Wright, second engineer, maintenance bay. It's a lot of repairs in five days, is it not? I feel like you'd be questioning whether you should be on this thing or not. Okay. Let's replace that. That's good. That's fine. <laughs> I can barely see ish. <laughs> Marksman, that's right. That's right. Oh, you're a speedy boy. I don't know what that was, it just flew at me there, but... They're dead. They're, they're dead. Okay, like, it is dark. <sighs> what difficulty are we on? We're playing on hard. As somebody pointed out, there is no HUD in this game. Um, so, like, if you look at the spinal cord thing. The amount of juice in there is our health, so we're just under three quarters. Which is more than enough. <laughs> where's the where's your where's your goodies? Nothing? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, I almost screwed that up big time. Oh, I almost screwed that up big time again. That was actually a pretty good plan until, uh, right up until it wasn't. It stopped being a good plan when I got backed into the elevator. Oh, hello. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway I was ready to punch, don't you worry. I was ready. Just gotta move the tramp. Okay, Daniels, watch that door. Poker invitation. Oh, this is important. Keeping this off wriggly in case Benson's listening in. You in for poker tonight, or are you just going to let Caitlin keep walking around with your credits? I'm in, but can you not invite Pavey this time? I know he's still blaming himself for Sorosi's accident and everything, but no one wants to hear about anyone's fucking nightmares. Especially that one where he saw Sorosi up and walking around with half his head missing. 
And don't give me shit about it. I'm serious. It's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams where you wake up, you know? But my dad was sitting next to my bed talking to me. Felt so real I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day. And trust me, that's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. Bad dad. Don't like that. Nodes. I don't remember what those are for. To, oh, to join is to survive, is what it says. We were trying to read that before. Alright. Upgrade weapons and rigs using the bench. Upgrade weapons, improve the selected weapon or rigs capabilities by investing power nodes in their upgrade graft. Unlock new upgrades. To gain access to unique upgrades and expand the weapons upgrade graph, bring upgrade parts to the bench. And you can reset upgrades at any time in exchange for credits. Okay. So it looks like we can buff health, stasis. Oh, that's what that little, that's what the other um, circular meter on our back is, is this stasis thing. Oxygen. I think I'm going to do Plasma Cutter. I guess we'll take damage. <laughs> Yawn, thanks, man. Small token of appreciation for having a stream today, bud. Stomp mighty and often. Hey, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming, too. I always like going through, like, a new streaming phase, you know? Like, I find a game I really think will be fun to stream, and then we'll do it. Okay, so we got the thing. We're heading back. Are you kidding me? I know it's I know it's early, but I feel like this game could win sound design awards. Like it is really good. It's really good. Shit. How many? That's a lot of stomps, but it's doable. I could save ammo that way. That's a lot of stomps. That was like four. Okay, let's go to somewhere with lights. <laughs> Graphic design too. No, I mean it, it's it's pretty good. What's up? Cody from Mac Telecom Networks with the biggest guns in the YouTube universe. How's it going, man? Thanks for the one year. That's That means a lot, dude. Is this a game you would play? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, so I can't get in here. This was locked when we first came by, right? 
Yeah, it definitely, definitely was. Did I just... What the frick? What am I hearing? I'm sure they're fine. Okay, so I stomped this open. Why? I can't go through here, right? It's weird. Damn, Kirby. That's a huge donation. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. Have you watched The Last of Us show and what are your thoughts? Oh my god, yes. So, yes, except for the most recent one on uh, Sunday. We're watching that tonight, right after the stream, actually. And my thoughts, if you asked me before if I was excited about it, I would have told you very cautiously optimistic. Like, I don't want to be too excited and be let down. But after the first episode, I was like, whoa, they did such a good job. They really have, like, respected the game, it seems, and the original story. Um, but while still, you know, making it appropriate for TV. I like the change from spores to, like, this fungus in the ground. That's kind of a cool little twist. Um, the second episode, the scene with the clickers was unbelievable. Like, it was perfectly encapsulating what it feels like to play that game on high difficulties when you, like, can really get into a game. Oh, I just, I loved that. And even my wife is into it, which makes me super happy because now that's, like, an activity that we can do together. And it's, like, kind of a blend of, like, stuff that I'm into and stuff that she's into because we're opposites in a lot of ways, so... Yeah, it's it's really really good. Uh, I'm I'm pretty shocked. Yeah, don't talk about episode three, please, because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, the sound design folks who made the clicker sounds got to be on the show. Yeah, um, there I saw a TikTok of the girl who plays Ellie doing clicker sounds, and her clicker sounds were really impressive. <laughs> Okay, so there was something out here. I'm tempted to go back and use that node upgrade, but like I feel like we'll find another one at some point. Use the map screen to check important locations and objectives. Okay. Now, did we ever even go through here? I don't think so, did we? Oh, yeah, well. That looks like a thing. Holy Christ. I'm just going to check this out before we install the, the, the doodad in the thingamajig. Okay, I need a level one security clearance. Fair enough. There's no way I can get through there, is there? Oh... Right. <laughs> right. I kind of forgot about what this did. <laughs> What's up, Sniff? Stasis pack. 
Recharge stasis module at recharge stations or by using stasis packs. <laughs> nice troubleshooting. Thanks, man. When in doubt, just stasis. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Trey cool. Yeah, that's normal. That was fine, right? That's fine. I have no idea if we'll be coming back through here or not. Another node. Okay, okay, okay. Message retrieved. Vents into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. You know? I know. <laughs> you know? I know. At least they reference the amount of stuff that's breaking down is not normal. So, we're not too crazy for what we inferred from the logs previously. Prepare systems online. Loading system reinitialized. Warning. Autoloader malfunction. Please contact a repair technician. I feel like I need to stasis something. Manually attach claws. Can I move these? I feel like I'm able to move stuff. Okay, maybe I can't move stuff, but we shoot it. We had the right idea. <laughs> hey, not calm Tom. What's up, man? Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. You don't have kinesis yet. Yet. Okay, so that is a thing. Oh, you're a weak one. You're the runt of the litter. Oh boy, there's your mom. I'm about 90% sure I hit the railing there. But okay. Oh, maybe that one's fine. Replacing damaged tram car. Please stand by. Another one. Oh, 
Yo! How long until our first death? Not too long. Charm replacement complete. You got it. The tram was jamming the whole system. I'm heading back to tram control. I didn't even get to watch you any of that you arrived at the happen. <laughs> Good. Just hurry. I keep hearing noises right under our feet. Oh my god. Mac Telecom Networks. What a legend. Okay, so I can I can break these things, but why? <sighs> Mac Telecom just gifted 10 memberships. Dude, thanks. That's super, super kind of you, man. You're always being so generous in here. Thanks, man. Oh, I see you. I see you. What's up? He is. He's up. That's super generous, man. Thank you for that. Uh, if you guys see on your screen sometimes when uh, somebody does a gift thing like that you'll be able to opt in to receive future um gift memberships so if you see a little thing in your chat to like opt in that's that's what that's for and you should probably do that if you like free things bathroom not been sanitized for error days that's good I found, what's that name? Inside the vents. I actually feel like I remember this bathroom. <laughs> Do I? Do I remember this bathroom? From the first game? Or from the original? Holy frick, you guys are going nuts today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Why is my heart racing? Yo, not calm Tom. Thank you for the donation. Musa, thank you for the donation. How are you doing? I did not see you play the Callisto Protocol in Gotham Knights. Will you play them? And if not, why? Callisto Protocol, um, talking to a bunch of my buddies, they didn't really enjoy it. And uh, so I skipped it. They told me to bring the others. Yeah! Oh no. Um, and then the other one, Gotham Knights, also just looked really jank. So like here's here's my here's my thing about like how I decide what games I'm gonna play now, right? And this might be a good little um a time to bring up Forspoken, a series that I stopped recently. I'm at this. I'm at the point in my uh, life <laughs> where if I don't like something, I'm not gonna do it. If that makes sense. I guess that's a better way to do that. Um, life is too short to spend time playing something you don't like. That's my opinion. Uh, and so, if I'm evaluating whether or not I'm gonna play a game, I need to I need to be like, okay, do I want to do I want to dedicate the next three to four to five to six weeks of my life playing this every day? And if the answer is no, 
then I'm not then I'm not gonna then I'm not gonna do it. Um, Forspoken as an example, that was one where I'm like I was so on the fence about it. I was like, let's just play it and kind of show the community like. Let's make our own decision because the reviews were very divided and it was a lot of this like woke bullshit about whatever. We don't need to get into that. But when something like that, the type of coverage that Forspoken was getting was very polarizing and became very political. That's when I'm like, okay, I got to make my own decision here because people with agendas are going to say certain things. And uh, that's why I was like, I thought it would be cool to just try it and see where it landed. And Ultimately, I don't think it's a bad game, but it's not, I don't think, a, a great game. And something that I certainly don't want to spend the next six weeks playing, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a little bit of behind the scenes about how that goes. How my thought process is. Eric, thanks for the donation as well. Uh, make us whole again. Really enjoyed your videos. Been following since Metro Last Light. Ooh, Metro games. Oh, those are so good, too. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, enjoying games as a streamer normally makes it more fun for the audience. Yeah, for sure. Like the ultimate the ultimate combo is when I'm just absolutely loving a game and the audience just seems to for whatever reason love it. Like right now Vampire Survivors. Like that that video series is crushing and it's crushing in a way that is like it's getting more views per day than when I'm running like an XCOM campaign at episode 30, 40, 50. You know what I mean? which is pretty cool. It's awesome because I love that game so much. So it's such a, a awesome combo when that just lands with the audience. The last one that happened like that was um, Dome Keeper. Oh, and like, I still want to go back and play Dome Keeper, but now I'm kind of like just engaged with Vampire Survivors. So that's like the main thing. And then I'm kind of doing some other stuff over here, like dabbling. I got a, going to do like a little Deadpool DLC playthrough with uh, Midnight Suns and then keeping vampire survivors every day and then we're going to stream this and then i'll check out like little things here and there but yeah anyways rant over now do i wait <laughs> yes Okay, so I feel... Nice. I feel like uh, all that stuff that we just did... It, the game probably would have prompted us to do it after we install this, this map module thing, right? So we might be a little bit ahead of our pace here, but that's cool. You've never touched anything Dead Space? You gotta say this looks dope. Oh, you owe it to yourself to play these games. I bet the original still stands up, like, as a good game to play. Visually, maybe a bit dated. But, I mean, if you have the option to play this remake, like, this is... This is the way. This is the way to do it. 100%. So is this us here? Are we engineering right now? Or are we maintenance? I'm not sure. Data board reinstalled. System restart complete. Okay. Damn. Not calm Tom. As a game developer, I hope to one day see you play a game that I made on your channel would be a dream come true. What kind of games are you developing, Not Calm Tom? Uh, some of you guys know this. I've mentioned this on streams in the past. Um, but I've been involved with a local studio in Montreal for the past few months doing like... Uh, consulting for them basically on a game that they're developing and uh that's been super fun like very eye-opening to how challenging game development can be and how how much work goes into like a lot of the little things and just like fixing bugs and then like 
there's kind of like a rush of things that happen all at once to kind of make things feel like you've taken a leap forward in progression of the game design. So like I I have a newfound respect for um, developers. It's it's wild. And it, even if you have a triple A studio that with hundreds of people designing games, like there's still people eight hours a day putting in all these tiny, tiny little things to make this ultimate picture, and it's it's pretty wild. But all this to say, um, I was thinking about maybe starting some type of like, I don't know, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, I don't know, probably monthly or something. Maybe um, not necessarily behind the scenes, but just something where I'm talking about the process that I'm involved in. Like, I'm not coding, I'm not developing the game, but, like, I'm heavily involved in where things are going with the game. And I thought it might be cool to kind of do, like, a series of videos where I'm, like, talking about it and just showing you guys whatever they would allow me to show. I think it's an indie studio, so I'm pretty sure they would allow me to show pretty much anything. Um, and just kind of give you guys a little peek into stuff like that. I think that could be pretty cool um and mostly just sharing my thoughts on what it's like to be going through that process i don't know is that something you guys would be into maintenance complete calling tram it's clear. yeah see so if we would have come here and done this the tram would need to be replaced and yada 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 now arriving at flight deck tram control Yawn, thanks as well. Regarding me watching Vampire Hunters, never more have I needed the phrase, are you winning, son? <laughs> yeah. We're on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown was lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. See. Return to the Kellyan. Fair enough. In the first one, and I guess here too, like you're just kind of the the workhorse for the team, right? You're like an engineer. Now I guess we have a little bit more personality. Because we can talk and stuff, but... You're still ultimately the grunt. Okay, chat. I need an answer. This is not a rhetorical. Like, is there ever anything behind these? Should I ever... Should I ever break the... Like, should I be breaking these? Is there a point? Yeah, you guys would be into that? Yeah, I mean, I think it would be cool for me to sh share what that's like, just from my own perspective. Yeah, I'll think about how I could do it. Aren't I under NDA? Uh, yeah, but it would, all, it would all be stuff that I would agree to, right? That they would agree to. Not Con Tom says, recently got hired at a studio in Montreal. Oh, good for you, man. We're neighbors. Making a CRPG game. That's very cool. You don't think so? Okay, well, I'll probably still break him. I'll still break him, I guess. We'll see. It would be weird if there was, like, never anything behind them, but at the same time, I don't know. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that.
This kind of gives me uh, alien isolation vibes a bit. Jesus! This is bad. Whoa. I tried to heal in that as well. I don't know if I did. But I tried. Whoa. So he came out of there. So the guy that the guy that we saw, that must have been him. So he came around. Clever girl. Wait, how? Wait, that couldn't have been him. No, that couldn't have been him. Unless he went in here and then repaired the vent. There he is. See ya. Where's our dead buddy there? Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's... There's no survivors. Daniels is trying to get into the command computer. Did he, uh, did the, did the thing, like, airlift him out of here? Or did he change? Maybe he was one of those that we just killed. Sponsored article, the USG Ishimura. This article is sponsored by CEC's print and publishing division and may not represent the views of Amazing Universe magazine. Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel, ore, metals, and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources of Earth and the dwindling supplies of the colonies. Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it less than a century ago. Looking to the stars for additional resources was nothing new, but at the time, the only shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura. Named after the celebrated astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive, Hideki Ishimura, the USG Ishimura, was the first of the massive planet cracker ships. Built in 2446, she has enjoyed a long and storied career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize the shock point drive for large-scale commercial deep space expeditions. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. She was also the first ship capable of the pioneering scan and catch. <laughs> Almost read that differently. Technique for harvesting Harv harvesting mineral-rich asteroids. Utilizing huge gravity tethers, the Ishimura could lock onto asteroids and pull them inside the ship's massive collection bays for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years, and many of her interior spaces have been retrofitted to take advantage of current technological advances. Despite so many long years of service, she remains the pride of the CEC fleet and is still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience, and dedication, the Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It is ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of the men and women who crew her that built the Concordance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. Yep. 
noted. Uh, Musa, thanks again. Says, thanks for your perfectly clear answer. Uh, am I right to say that like your fellow American YouTuber, Hollow, I have no clue who that is, you seem to be a little exhausted, fatigued, tired of all these years of complete commitment. I feel that you want a certain break from all of this in order to relax and change your horizon. Uh, no. I think you're maybe projecting just a little bit there. Not at all. I think it's totally normal to go through phases of, like, um, higher or lower uh, motivation. But when I answered you about uh, which games I decide to cover, it's my, my intention of that is not to say I don't want to cover all the games because I don't want to dedicate my time to it. It's that I want my time that I'm dedicating to games to be something that I enjoy the entire time. And if I'm not enjoying it, I don't wanna I don't wanna play it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I think maybe you're you're uh, reading into it a little deeper there. Then you should. Yeah, got it. Coming in. So I think I've got like three nodes batched up. Hello. Background request to Zach Hammond. Per your request, here's what we could find in these specialists they sent for the repair mission. Isaac Clark. Isaac was born to Pool and Octavia Clark on Earth in the eastern seaboard region of the American Republic. Pool Clark was an award-winning ship architect employed by the Galactic Union Merchant Marine Corps. His records show extended time off world away from his family. What is that name? Pool. What is that? What is that background? There's a log on the side of the ship. This one. <laughs> Same here. Reach my thirties, and I just want to enjoy games. They shouldn't be a chore. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, ex like exactly. Uh, it's different when you're, like in. Um, when you're, when you're creating content on the games, right? Because there is a certain pressure to play the newest releases all the time. And, like, certainly it's advisable if you're trying to grow your channels to be, like, on top of that stuff. But, like, you know, I for me, I would much rather... Like, if I know a game's going to be good, yeah, I'm going to play it right away. But if I'm unsure, I kind of want to wait and see what's happening um feel it out a little bit see a little bit more gameplay and if i can't do that then i'm still unsure i'll do something where i'm gonna like at least just try it out for a bit and then we'll make a decision but yeah holy frick matt skinner just gifted 20 memberships pool is a danish version of paul oh okay Skinner, man. Incredible. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. If you got one from Skinner, please thank him. That's super kind. Uh, when Isaac was born, Poole was given a temporary reassignment to the Earth-based Gumsey. That's the Galactic Union Merchant Marine Corps ship. Production facility. During the four-year tour, Poole and Octavia raised Isaac together. When the tour was over, Poole shipped off for an extended world off-world tour. Poole's influence on his son must have rubbed off. Records indicate Isaac pursued studies in mechanical and electrical engineering and achieved high honors. According to the medical and psychiatric reports, I'll read this like a news anchor. According to the medical and psychiatric reports, Poole Clark's absence had a profound effect on Octavia. She suffered from depression and personal anguish until doctors encouraged her to find fulfillment by working with charitable organizations. It is believed that this is how she ended up coming in contact with the Church of Unitology. <laughs> At first, her association with the church appeared to alleviate her mental condition. The cancellation of her therapy sessions corresponds with the local parish announcements of her initiation ceremony. There's indications that she sold off much of the family estate to finance full memberships in the church and the soul cleanse they require to enter the higher ranks. 
Isaac appears to have been selected to a prominent engineering school, but we surmise that he was unable to afford the tuition, as records show that he instead attended a lesser-known school with the help of scholarships and financial assistance. After graduating with high honours, Isaac enlisted in the Merchant Marine. He quickly gained a reputation for his resourceful engineering solutions, and after two years was promoted to a higher profile position closer to the major shipping lanes. Isaac's career stagnates at this point. Harsh. This would coincide with psychiatric reports that his mother's mental health was deteriorating, and bank records show payments to a psychiatric facility for treatment. This seems to be where Isaac met a medical officer and neuropsychiatrist called Nicole Brennan, the lady referenced at the start, and her name appears in Octavia's physician roster. The two of them ended up cohabitating until Brennan accepted a promotion and left to serve in the USG Ishimura. Poole's return from his extended tour coincided with Octavia's release from the hospital. Whatever his assignment was, Poole's service records remain mysteriously classified by executive order. Uh, and unless he confided in Isaac, he took his secrets to the grave. The next records we have are death notices for both Poole and Octavia. Interesting. Their bodies were willed to the custody of the Church of Unitology, along with Clark's entire estate, apparently on Octavia's wishes. Isaac's repeated petitions to have his parents' bodies returned seem to have been ignored, since the church refuses any inquiries related to its members. Their cause of death is unknown. Overall, Isaac's more than qualified to handle a job like the Ishimura. I'd talk politics over religion, though. Kendra Daniels. I couldn't find anything on her in the time you gave me, but Darlton swears by her. Apparently, she's on the mission with his recommendation. If he thinks she has what it takes, who am I to argue? Okay, so that was all basically on us. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Speaking of unitology, I was in uh, New York this past weekend for uh, a trip with Ram, and uh, we were walking in uh, Times Square, as one does, and literally right off the main section of Times Square is like a Scientology headquarters. You walk by, and it's like they have... Um, like a, a window dressing to see um, like, I don't know, hundreds of books by L. Ron Hubbard or whatever. And then the next window is like, I don't know, the sequel to his books. And you could just like join, join maybe? I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's like a recruitment thing or a, the church or like, I don't know what they do in there. Uh, but it was just, it's just so weird because you've heard all these stories about Scientology and then to just like walk by this place in Times Square of all places it's just like oh okay well I guess that's like a business or whatever it's super bizarre damn hey, here is that blood? Haley I need you to listen the Ishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters you didn't hear anything? Huh? no the comms are still out Isaac we need to kill him fixed now got a damage report yeah, it's there. She's still limping. Hey, John. Uh, two questions. How often are you willing to play horror games, and where's the jump scare counter? Uh, I like playing horror games a lot. I just find that there's not very many good ones. Especially the last year, I feel, has been really, really low uh, in terms of number of horror games releasing. I don't really do a jump scare counter, but... We've had w at least one today. Go. I got a protector. Whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure she'll be okay. Oh, these guys are the shrimps. I don't even know if he's dead. I hope so. What's 
What's happening down there? Johnson's gone. The Kelly and two. The Singularity Core overloaded. No! The Kellyan was our only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's heart. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Oh, that's cool how it, like, fades okay, out here. if you're aiming. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical... status... deceased? Even the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was Dude, that? What? Chen? Oh yeah, okay, so they do change. Shit. Chen's a big boy. Let's do a quick save here. That bathroom is very clean. A plus. You gotta stomp two to three times to extract goodies from downed enemies. In my experience, that is not true. That's just my experience. Okay. What do we got here? Store is a one-stop shop to purchase, sell, and store items. Storage system can be accessed via any store. From the inventory, sell currently held items or place them in storage. Bring schematics to the score to gain access or to the store to gain access to new items. Bonus contents available. Check your storage to access or equip it. The infested suit. The venture suit. The lone survivor. Sanctified. Bloody. <laughs> I feel like it's all we're already bloody. How much money do I have? I have ten thousand and one hundred credits. Okay, so uh, this suit upgrade would increase our inventory capacity to 18 slots and provide 5% armor. So that's up from 12. But this would be a nice little power node upgrade. What do these things do? Any buffs? <laughs> That's cool. They'll never know. We could probably just walk right by them. They'll be like, one of us. That's pretty cool.
So, do any of these do anything? It doesn't seem to have any, like, special effects. Let's look at this one. Just cosmetics? That's what I thought, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That kind of reminds me of, like, Crisis Armor. Is this the one that we started with, the legacy rig? Or is this like... Is this showing us the, basically like the original, original suit? What's with the three slits in the visor? Uh, cause you have more visibility than two slits. Duh. I feel like... Which, which is the original that I was wearing? Which one is- which one's the default? You unequip it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we're gonna rock- we're gonna rock the new suit, for sure. Okay, okay. Okay. So, here... I think I'm gonna take the suit upgrade instead of the node. 18 slots, 5% armor. Holy Matt Skinner. Are you kidding me? Skinner, you're so generous, man. Thank you so much. That is incredibly kind. Matt says, taking a break from Midnight Suns to drop by and say hello. Finally finished God of War. Loving the 80s throwback of Vampire Survivors. Thanks, man. I'm glad you're digging all the content. I appreciate that a lot. Alright, now we're poor. But that's fine. That's fine. I could probably sell some of this stuff. But, like, it's not going to get me anything anyway, so I'm just going to hold it. Anyways, that was a cool little fashion show. I need a bench. Scan rig to unlock workstation. Where do I scan the rig? Oh, I remember this spot from the original. Okay. way better now. This is where we came from, right? Yeah, okay. God, I hate when people leave their trash! Especially food! 
It's disrespectful. It's invincible. Alright, what are we going to do here? Graph extended. Okay, so... Uh, I guess what that's saying is... Well, we got the inventory slots. But then it also just adds new nodes, right? What's going to be most important? Like, HP is cool. It's just not super sexy. But I guess I gotta start here. Uh, what's in here that I might want? Capacity seems like a good idea. I could go, like, max capacity here. Let's do that. I would have been okay with them uh, just having like an autosave here or something instead of having to go in and like do that every time. It's really just breaking my immersion to the levels that I just don't think is appropriate, you know what I mean? Oh, jeez. Okay, we don't have any stasis juice. I could refill, but I'm not gonna panic. We're fine. We'll find a thing. So I'm cheap. I mean, economical. Okay, so we need to. Okay, so guys, keep track. Okay, there's a uh, quarantine cargo storage thing. And there's that other thing out by the broken tram area down the ramp that needs security clearance level one. So that's two things that need the security clearance. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Happy to be here. Oh, there we go. F to use Kinesis. Yeah, okay, so I wasn't totally crazy. Okay. I push it forward? So that's unlimited usage. Hey, hello. Those we sell. <laughs> the Force, yeah. Speaking of, I, I would totally love a new uh, Jedi game. What is that? Let's forget about me stomping on her. I should have probably done it earlier. She was obviously 
you know, struggling. It would have been just much easier on her if I just put her out of it. What's with the hand? It doesn't matter. We have a new gun. Okay. Uh, let's throw it over here. I also feel like they probably could have updated that little menu. I can also just scroll. Proximity fire? Am I going to die here? Oh, I can... Okay, I can pick it back up. Okay, so that will trigger if something walks by it, I guess. Oh, that's pretty quick. I bet it is. I bet it is. Can I shoot? Like, can I fling this thing? It doesn't appear that I can. Why the whispering? Jesus Christ. <laughs> we were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. Nicole could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Great. That seems... That seems awesome. Find a shock pad. Okay. Level two clearance? Holy smokes. I'm just, I'd be happy to get a level one. What's it gonna take? Oh, there is something there.
Don't know if I love this gun. That took way too long. Okay. So we have power. We need to go up there. We came in through here. That's open. Let's check this first. I imagine as we reroute the power, we're going to lose access. Where? Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Level two clearance? Are you kidding me? Okay, so maybe this thing scales really well. But like... Let's go reload time here. I wonder if I should have level 1 clearance already. Hey, it's okay to be fucked up. <laughs> That's true. That's true, guys. You can be weird. Be a little weird. Okay, so there's level 2 boxes that I need. What was that? Tip, if you want ammo for a certain weapon, unequip the weapon you don't want ammo for. That was... That was, uh, something. Was something. I'm not really proud of it. <laughs> Sniped. We're incapable of jumping? Is that what you're telling me? Infidels. Calculated risks. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying cause is showing up in environmental analysis. Foodstuffs or radiation levels. I admit I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis. So in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments and our zero-G therapy pods. But the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those systems are old and they need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry that what might happen if there's a serious power surge down there, but nothing else keeps seems to help. I suppose the odds are low enough, I'd rather take a small calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. Fair. Fair. Did he just punch and fire at the same time? You were talking about when I got attacked by the wall creature? I think so. I don't know why I was aiming the whole time, but I think maybe if they get into a certain range, it like auto triggers the punch if you're clicking the fire button. 
Who would win in a fight, Isaac or Master Chief? Uh, Master Chief. I think you put Isaac against anybody and he's losing, let's be honest. He doesn't have... Son of a bitch. Oh, I swear to God. I dare ya. I dare ya. Okay. Am I am I missing clearance chat? Am I missing clearance that I should have right now? Like or maybe I'll just be back here later. Oops. Yes, but don't worry about it. Okay, so I'll find it, you're saying? There's always pang. There's always pang. You guys know how much I hate when I can't get into an area? Like, that is probably my biggest frustration in a game. I'm like, I know I know there's something that I missed, and now I don't know where the frick it is. And it's gonna that's all that's all I'm thinking about is where could that have been? Because I you feel like you're being thorough, but then something happens and all of a sudden you're like, well, what have I been doing? Entering zero gravity. Oh boy. I remember this. Fifty seconds. Fifty seconds. We're cool. We're cool. Oh. My bad. Exiting nice. I wonder if that's ever worth picking up upgrades to. The oxygen. Now you might need to use it for connecting uh, through stuff. <laughs> Sick. Who's disoriented already? I am. Just fly right into the reactor core, no big deal. I feel like that's where I just came from. Or did I come from that side? I think we came from here because we had the nice little uh, landing area. Exiting 
zero gravity. Navigational mastermind. sign of her yet but i found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade i just need to find a shock pad okay work fast isaac how do you throw after using kinesis bc gravity. oh fun oh really fun Someone's been working out. Left mouse? Okay. I'll try it on the next uh, thing. I don't know if I can just grab anything. Oh, I can. Oh, sick. Okay, yeah, nice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That is disorienting. like these are things that I should be grabbing. Thank you. Like, is that not a thing? What the frick? Where am I at for healing? I'm, I'm decent. I did manage to get one of these to go off, which was nice. The uh, explosive version. God. Took one step out of the captain's net and Chen, that thing, he almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Zero gravity. Where's my clearance? I'm gonna lose it if I don't find clearance soon. Okay, so this this pulse rifle I like for the um, for the 
proximity thing that we can use. That's that's superb. But I really don't like it just for shooting. It seems kind of wasteful. Okay, I see where we are now. I see where we are. Also, I should be stasising too when I'm panicked like that. That would be... ideal. Okay, so we're back here. That's good. So we can buy pulse rounds, never want to do that. Never want to buy any of these except for nodes. Just melee the door fuses? I didn't know you could. For some reason I thought I had to plasma cut them. I don't feel like I'm going to have an ammo problem. I might regret saying that later, but like... Um, and I, I kind of hope that ammo be starts to feel scarce. Right now, it doesn't feel that way. I feel like um, Resident Evil has always done that very well on higher difficulties. Is really, like, major ammo usage feel very important. Not many games nail that, actually. Oh, there we go. Now it's teaching me how to throw it. Way ahead of ya. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine I hope it's me. I hope I'm the anomaly. Nope. Oh, Jesus! That's right! I forgot about that! Now that's sick. That's so cool! I forgot about this. Give me more. Bring them. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Okay, I think we're clear. <laughs> Just writing about it, we remember. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. That's the gym. Oh, boy. Oh, why? Holy frick! Oh, 
Doesn't even kill them. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love murdering, mutilating, all the M words. Speaking of M words, MILF Manor? Anyone in chat? Anybody? Anybody? MILF Manor. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say MILF Manor? Google it if you need to. Dio, you know, but you haven't watched it. Not a not a Steam game. Nope. 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 Can't believe how good this game is. Never played any uh, of the other ones ha halfway through and loving it. Dude, yeah, I thought you would like this game. Not sure you want to know. Okay, Milf Manor. It's basically, if you've ever seen Love Island, it's like that. Except it's older ladies and younger men. However, <laughs> the twist is the older women that are looking to the younger men are in the same dating pool as the younger men who happen to be their sons. So mom and son are in the same dating pool with all of the other moms and sons. And, <laughs> and the first challenge was like, one of the first challenges was the moms are blindfolded. And based on touching the abs and shoulders of the young male bodies, they needed to figure out which one was their son. Because that's right, the son's in the goddamn lineup too. They didn't move the son out of the mom who was guessing, which for me, I was like, that's, this is super weird. Didn't stop watching it, kept watching it. And uh, now I got two more episodes to watch. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So um, Milf Manor, A plus trash reality show. A plus. It is everything you could hope and dream of. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. <laughs> With medication Please stop. and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. If this continues, there might be hope <laughs> for the others on Aegis 7. Hey man, However, I make the rules. Dr. Marsha continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking reef signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Relocation inconclusive. I don't remember. Rig tracking is available. Okay. I don't remember the story here and like how she fits into this, if she's alive or not or whatever, but I guess we'll find out. Find a shock pad. Uh, sorry, Tim, I missed your uh, your super chat there. It said use kinesis on the fan grates instead of punching. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess, but it doesn't... I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, we could do that. It's not like we lose... Um, like, Kinesis seems free. Stasis costs our, our meter, I think. But Kinesis seems free, so I don't know. Uh, and punching is, is also uh, very free. Anonymized transcript from Brennan. Counseling session for patient redacted. Jane Doe. Would this be Nicole? Okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Thanks. It's just so hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked you, talked to you again. Would this be Isaac's mother then, because of what we learned about his mom being involved with the Church of Unitology? He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church 
pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have Neuropsychiatrist 2. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Dr. Brennan? Sorry, I... Did something happen? I had a patient who I tried, and her son tried so hard, but she... I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church pull can be. Okay. No spoilers for MILF Manor. <laughs> Sorry, I, I spoiled uh, one of the first challenges for you. But don't worry, we'll talk more about MILF Manor in following streams, so stay tuned. Well, I won't spoil it all for you. I have so many more episodes to watch. Okay, this is where we came from, right? Yeah, we came in here, we fought all the things, all the things fought us, they all died because we're superior combatants. Marker discovery. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. I must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. Yeah, okay. So Unitology is like a whole thing here. It's not just the fact that our mother was like into it. This is like a whole thing and like, okay. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams. And that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology, without EarthGov here to seize them first? This marker could herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the church and its teachings comforted me, saved me, and now I'm here in the right place at the right time to be of service to all humanity to repay those blessings. Amelia, if only you could be here now. Dr. Kine. Amelia. Is that like his wife or daughter or something like that? Okay, I just realized we have these two. Can't reach the emergency room until I destroy the barricade. I didn't know that there were actual side missions in here that are tracked like that. Is there any way that I could track that? Location medical. Okay. Oh, maybe I... Hold on. Did I come in from here? No. No, sir. Surgical log. Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. Finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death itself. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange. When my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without Kain, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Okay, so this is Nicole's office. That's Kynes. So just this is left. So the bench, save. So, you're saying if I switch to this, then I should only find ammo for the other gun? That's kind of cool. Neat little way to manipulate that. Neato! I have no nodes, man. What am I even doing here? I don't have any nodes, chat. No nodes! I wonder how many save slots we have. 
feel like we've already made at least 10. Oh, nice. These little fetuses in here? What is this? Oh, God. Oh, you're dead. You are definitely dead, dude. Okay. Great. Mm hmm. That's cool. Level three? Oh my god. It is little fetuses. <laughs> I was half joking. Because these are not little. They're growing them. Well, that's awesome. Vital personnel. Clerical error? Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, the Ensign Sable... Or I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now? I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. Oh. They're growing these things to do transplants. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates, shit rolls downhill, Zoe. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how that works. Okay, so I can't telekinesis these. Whoa! I don't like that. Uh, I'd much rather them not be little fetuses. Limb simulation. Okay. Okay. We're stimulating limbs. That guy's dead. There we go. Oh, I knew it. I freaking knew it. <laughs> I still did it. I, I knew it, but I still did it. So, what does that tell you? Got it. Hey, is this, uh, oh yeah, okay, I see.
for three. Not quite the swish I was hoping for there, but that'll do. Okay, so now where is... Uh... Hold on. I'm in medical. Emergency room. I can't reach there until I destroy the barricade. Uh, do I know where that is? Showers, prosthetics, limb stimulation, uh, change floor. God, this is so messy to navigate. Imaging, observation, zero G. Dr. Warwick. I don't even know if I have access to this yet. That was good. We got him. <laughs> they're all they're all dead. They're all dead. Oh, okay. 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 Is it bad that I didn't exactly know that I was looking for a way to like I guess it is bad. I must have missed that, but like I feel like uh, this digging deeper thing, investigate the emergency room. This is also past here. I thought this was based on something we found before. In the in another area. Go boom. Take cover to detonate. We've run out of body bags. That's how I'm feeling. You would. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Yeah, okay, so I will find that. He's dead. Remember, when you reach the board, find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Yeah. Plasma cutter upgrade. That would be excellent. 
Security clearance required. Okay, guys, like, do should I be should I double back? Should I double back to find my security clearance? I'm missing out on so much good stuff. There's probably a node in there, and like, look, it's everywhere. Oh no, okay. You know what? Security clearance required. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go find it. Have we been on here? Ah. Okay, we have not. So, okay, so this is handy. Flight deck track control. I'm going back. Oh, I'm gonna get clearance soon? Oh, okay. I thought people said that I had just missed it before. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Medical. All right. Thank you, chat. Thank you. We're going back to medical. All things are fine. Everything's exactly as it should be. I swear somebody said that I missed it earlier. But. Would somebody lie? No. No. They wouldn't. Security clearance required. Oh, what do you know? Patient Observations, B. Warwick. For patient Harris B, an employee. Harris is asleep. After another dose of sedative, <laughs> he seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances, but not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planetside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Schiarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans, and Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime, specifically that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He's affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He explains the explanation, or he claims the explanation is stuck in his mind, and that talking about it mixes up its messages. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexity of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Okay. Now, uh, I am not lazy. I am not above reading. I like reading. In fact, I'm absolutely crushing a book in real life right now. I'm addicted to it. I read it every single night. And I, so I like reading, okay? But if we're remaking games and stuff, like if we're just doing all this work to remake it and lo look fancy, like give me an audio log on all these transcripts. Give me like a video. Give me a little something something there. Like, just make it a little bit easier to ingest the information. What the frick? Loop and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Maybe I have some cage we left. Now, are, are 
Are we- is that like a- a vision that we're having? Okay, I did get plasma energy there. Maybe it's because I'm full of the other weapon or something. I should carry this because I'm low on plasma. Level two, security clearance required. You don't say. I don't think this is a thing. Nope. Is there anything inside of you? Guess not. Okay, I switched to the pulse gun, now I'm getting pulse rounds. This will be the same thing. Oh, I see. To remove the battery, ensure no breaker or no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Okay. What am I missing here? Oh, there we go. This looks normal. Everything in here is totally fine. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. What are my thoughts on the game? For being paranoid. A plus. This room to run Incredible so far. Unitologists interfering. Now it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations, but it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need. Wait, where's that report from engineering? Here. Oh, you need to unequip the gun injury. from the quick menu to make it drop. Limbs oh, I thought it was just... Yeah, that's too much work. <laughs> okay. That's fine. But thanks for clarifying. Coffee. Lake... Sh How do I say that? Lake Nishender. Hey, crazy. 7.30 on a Wednesday. Your base in Asia. Yeah, that, thanks for telling me because I would have asked that immediately. <clears throat> Odd exercises every morning and reads every night. Goals. Just wait till I tell you I like journal on my iPad and like put little stickers on my calendars. JK, I don't do that shit. Oh, I probably shouldn't waste that. Probably shouldn't waste that. That looks like it would be very cool to have for the inevitable fight that's going to happen here. How nice would it have been to have that thing here? Show me the tentacles, baby. Well, okay. God. 
Where is he? I'm getting sniped. Running! Holy fuck. I see you. Oh man, I actually used all of my health there. That was cool. That was very cool. Very excellent. Much wow. Such great. There's gotta be more things. That's cool. We could huck those uh, fan blades. Okay, now I gotta find that thing that I launched. Where are you? <laughs> Am I ever gonna do a playthrough of Mafia 2 Epic Mr. Gamers? Uh, no, I don't think so. Security Unless they do, like, a remake or something. I played the Mafia 1 remake. I thought it was pretty fun. He's dead. Just playing. We're just playing games. That's all we're doing. We're just playing games. A little early, I guess. Oh! So I should be trying to just grab stuff left, right, and center constantly. And hope that it's like something I can impale with. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, before I go in there. Problem. <laughs> Mercer, Terrence Kite. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation is worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, okay, that's not good. More violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or, sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Okay. Uh, Mafia 2 Remake Details, coming 2023. Oh, well, maybe I will then. Yeah, if they're remaking that one, maybe I will do that.
Josh, do you think I'm going bald? It's a good. That's a good troll. It's a good troll attempt. Simon, thanks for the 20 months, man. Am I gonna play The Witcher 3 again soon? I don't think so. I, 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 I do envy the people that haven't got to play it before and then now have this really amazing update. Um, but it's just too big of a commitment for me to play it again, you know? Maybe one day, but uh, not on the agenda for now. What's up, Kevin? Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you all locked me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. <laughs> They're going ma Oh, shit. We snapped to that. Whoa, okay. That is not a hologram. Nope, that's very real. She has the dead eyes. Oh, yeah. Now she's got the dead everything. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. Level two security clearance required. That's great. What's this game rated? <laughs> I feel like it's probably uh, up there. <laughs> Mafia 2 Definitive Edition's already out? What? I don't think the Definitive Edition's a remake. That was out in 2020. Oh, it does say it's a remake. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Thanks. I didn't know that. I think it's E for everyone. Yeah. I think it's E for everyone as well. Yeah, yeah. It's made by Disney, so like, obviously. Oh, Jesus. Good thing I protected the wheelchair. Oh, now that is sick. That is incredible. Holy smokes. Got babies on the wall. Get the hell out of here. I'm just so impressed at the sound design. It is. <laughs> It is some of the best I've ever heard, honestly. Some of the best I've ever heard. That's a head. Cool. Rated E for everyone. Thanks. I almost missed that. Autopsy report. It, my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. That means it's not good. 
Subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low. Leukocytes, a type of blood cell that is made in the bone marrow and found in the blood and lymph tissue. They're part of the body's immune system. They help the body fight infection and other diseases. Okay, so he was, he was immunocompromised. With another word that I totally know. Eo <laughs> Eosinophils. Eosinophilae. Yeah. Eosinophilia. Eosinophils. Is a higher than normal level of eosinophils. Are a type of disease fighting white blood cell. Okay. I knew that. In particular, almost non existent. His pre flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. But it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the rib cage indicate he was restrained, likely for a brief period. Cause of death with a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. So it was pain-free, basically. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted, Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death. Ugh. But it has been preserved for the investigative team to study. Therefore, I have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I could have told you that. Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Right. Snazzy and classy. Dang. Greetings to you, Mr. Odd. Representing your friends from Canada. Excellent. I am also a local Canadian friend. Just want to say love your content, love the way you treat your audience, and love the genuine personality. Keep up the good stuff. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's kind. You are definitely Canadian. I can tell. You're definitely nice. Thank you for that. And thanks for the membership. You are... Uh, one of us now. Thanks. That's super cool. You know, it'd be sick if I had, if I had uh, security clearance. Can anybody donate me one security clearance, please? Stomp that like button. <laughs> Damn it. Yawn, you should be doing all my titles. Oh, is this gonna give us like a little health up? Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's in him. Start swinging. Oh, no. Okay, that, that actually was cool. Let me out. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well. He's a strong one. Oh, there's another. <laughs> Why are there so many? What is that? I'm out of bullets, man.
There. Eat shit. I officially did run out of ammo there. Uh, but... We did not die. So, all in all, a win. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! <laughs> Transmitting codes now. Out of character. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God, maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. Oh, yeah? If I can upgrade your clearance. He could do this over the radio? He can just upgrade my clearance because he wants to? Bro, that's... That's not cool. He's literally... Why doesn't he just give me max? Like, there's, there's clearly a fucked up situation here. And you're dangling level one clearance in front of me? I think we're, I think we're past that. My God. Gary, thanks for the four months, my dude. Dio, thanks for the 20. Dio says, Luckless has played this if you need tips. Isaac. I'm here. <laughs> what the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Okay. Flight deck. Engineering. Got it. He can't. That's why there's a whole side quest around getting max clearance. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. He could do it. You're just defending him. Were these level one? Oh yeah, they were. Really? We're not even getting any sexy level one clearance goodies. We're just getting regular clearance goodies. That's fair. <laughs> Neto? I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for the super chat. I remember watching your Dark Souls playthrough all those years ago. Glad you're still going strong. Keep it up. Cheers from Brazil. Hey, thank you, man. That's super cool. I would really like to visit Brazil one day. On my... Uh, what's... As, as somebody from Brazil... Clearance confirmed. What's your, what's your, like, bucket list I'd like to visit... XYZ locations from Brazil. Do I plan to play Hell as Others? I did a video on Hell as Others and I really liked it. I probably won't go back to it now because it's. I don't know if it was an early access release or, or if it. Uh, I don't remember exactly the details, but if they do like a full release, I'd go back and play it. Level 2, security clearance required. The captain's rig gave him the ability to give you clearance? Did it? Did it, though? Epic's giving it for free? Oh, nice. I already have a copy, but... I mean, I guess I should buy power nodes here.
And I should sell these deals. That was weird. Did you guys just get a lot of, like, weird audio stuff? Plasma cutter upgrades. Now I have another 10,000. Look at that. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, been a fan of your story-driven Let's Plays for years and have only watched any of your... But haven't watched any XCOM stuff. Which one do you recommend? Uh, honestly, with with XCOM... I, I, would rec I would recommend watching literally all of them. Because for two reasons. Number one, you're going to see the evolution of the game and its story and the way that its um, new mechanics have changed and like how it kind of grew over time. But then you're going to start to see um, introduction of new mods and see like what changes from the vanilla game and how those are impacted. But I think most importantly and, and what is really cool is because we've done so many seasons, there's references in uh, characters and things that we talk about a lot in the in the last you know five to seven seasons that are references to earlier characters or seasons that if you just dove in. You'd still get a really great experience, but you'd miss out on some of those neat little things. So if you want, like, all of the cool background stuff that we talk about sometimes, then I would start from the beginning. It, it, if, you're, if you're really interested in that kind of stuff, it might be... It might be a cool thing for you to kind of see, like, how I've changed over time, too. I'm just trying to get a sense of... Okay, so there's a level 2 clearance there. That's really nice, actually. This is blocked by what? I don't know. Consultation room. You know what? I'm actually just gonna... I'm just gonna check to see... What that means exactly. Oh boy. So anticlimactic, killing him that way. Okay, so there should be a locked door here. Oh, it's just no power. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. I think we've been in here, have we? Nope. Patient log retrieved. You son of a bitch. On patient Given the reports from the colony, he's lucky to have his faculties at all. Well, a divine experience would leave an impression on anyone's mind. Perhaps. But I saw nothing divine in all that blood. Or the suicide. But this is a revelation, Terrence. We just need more insight to translate it. You think this insight can be found in the fancy brain? I'm positive. And with Captain Eyes, I'm not anywhere to go again. That didn't work as well as I was hoping. In your message. Look, things are complicated enough already. You do what's best, of course, but... How long do we have to wait? 
No. That was not a good use of my ammo. And I missed everything he said. And I am in a bit of an ammo situation now, guys. We've reached the situation that I was talking about prior. It just automatically switched me to that gun. Don't like that. There's no bullets in it. Uh, what's the strategy to getting one of the, um, like, impaling limbs shot off? Like, should I be going for an arm first to get one of the things? And then, uh, impale it? I feel like getting the legs is nicer because then they don't reach me. Flight deck tram control. I don't think you can use the legs. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, so I guess if I want that, I have to shoot the arms. Isaac. Here. What the hell is happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get the engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Okay, this is not the one. Tutorials, Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Side Missions. Do you guys remember what it was called by chance? I hear the tests on patient Harris were inconclusive. Given the reports from the colony, he's lucky to have his faculties at all. Well, a divine experience would leave an impression on anyone's mind. Perhaps. But I saw nothing divine in all that... blood. The suicides. This is a revelation, Terence. We just need more insight to translate it. You think this insight can be found in Mr. Harris's psyche? I'm positive. And with Captain Matthias barring any visits to Aegis 7, this fellow may be our best chance. Harris is Dr. Brennan's patient. And your methods... Look, Mercer, things are complicated enough already. I can't sign off on this. You'll do what's best, of course, but how long can we afford to wait? Okay, so kind, good, Dr. Mercer, bad. Essentially. Okay, I've got a save over here. And a bench upgrade. This is good. We're overdue. Can I upgrade my clearance? Plasma cutter upgrade graph. New special ability is now accessible. Okay. Greatly increases ammunition capacity. I mean, so obviously I gotta go there. I got six nodes. All right. All right. It sucks I have to go into air. <laughs> Let's do one of those. 
I probably shouldn't ignore the the plasma rifle because like clearly I'm gonna I'm gonna need it when I run out of ammo. But I can always reset it and try it later. Okay. Chat. Uh, thank you guys. That's it. We're wrapping it up today. No, I was kidding. Dead put. Sorry, man. I was kidding. Uh, no, I can't upgrade my my uh, clearance. <clears throat> the rifle is good for uh, the grenade launcher. I'll give you that. It, that proximity thing is pretty nice, especially when you have swarms. Really, really cool. I can't think of a name. Holy, you guys have been super generous today. Thank you so, so, so much. Beardo is back. Hey, man. Just checking in after two weeks of working in GA. Is that Georgia? Enjoy your night. P.S. New XCOM season soon. <laughs> Uh, soon, no, but yes, eventually. Uh, so, we will be back uh, either tomorrow or the next day. And then uh, we'll just continue this until it's done. This will be our, our neat little streaming game. Um, I like that 4 o'clock start time. Can I finish at 7-ish my time? And uh, I can record during the day and stuff. Get all my other stuff done. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know, though. You can always check um, if you just go to youtube.com slash Christopher Rod slash live, then uh, that'll show you the next scheduled stream or it'll just take you to whatever stream is like current. Do these streams go on YouTube to watch any time? Yeah, literally right now you can rewatch the stream from the beginning. It's automatically there. And uh, yeah, it's super nice. That's why I stream on YouTube now. It's just everything's in one place. It's super clean, super easy. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. I had an absolute blast. This is really well made, in case you're wondering what my thoughts are. Highly, highly recommend it. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what else they do, because it's just highly polished. Feels really tight. Um, I like the new changes with Isaac. Um, playing on mouse and keyboard, super good, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a good time with this. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great night. Thanks for coming by, and we'll see you uh, soon. Quan the Terrible. <laughs> Thank you so much for the chats. See you guys. Bye now.